Welcome back to Cut It With Hammer. And today I'm just doing a little quick project. It didn't even bother drawing out. I just kind of mentally did it in my head, but uh, I'll show a picture. But basically I'm gonna replace this little bucket tower, which I've been sitting in my deck to uh, water my lemon trees. It's kind of tacky looking and I've been wanting to replace it. So today I'm gonna to whip together a little uh, wooden water tower to hide the bucket in. And I'll free up the other two buckets for hauling water. So. Let's get started. So I went to the local lumber yard and picked up a bunch of pressure treated one by sixes and they were extremely wet. Um, when I was putting in screws, uh, it would just squeeze the moisture out of the boards. So, but the lumber yard was kind of scarce on material. So that's what I went with. So cutting up uh, four 26 inch long boards. These are going to be part of the side and also serve as a leg. It's not going to be particularly fancy, but it's going to do the job. I ended up doing two of these water towers because I have two lemon trees and the first one is a little bit smaller so this video is better ones. So now I'm going to cut eight 16 inch boards and that's going to finish making uh, parts for the sides. Here I'm using a combination blade so I don't have to bother switching back and forth between a rip blade and a cross cut blade and given how wet this wood is I didn't want to use my good saw blade. Not that this isn't a good saw blade. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to uh, use the sliding table to uh, whip through these boards pretty quick. Now we're going to dig out Fritz and Franz and make a bunch of rip cuts for the boards to the proper width.
There's a little bow in the board and it snags on the front edge of the table. As I said, this wood is really wet and there's no way a stop saw would have cut this. It would have just tripped the circuit and you would have been buying a new blade and a new cartridge. And now to rip some cross pieces to hold the sides together. The dimensions wasn't really important, I just, just something to uh, screw into. And here we start to assemble the sides. So it's a couple cross pieces, a wide and narrow piece of 16 inch, followed up with a 26 inch piece. The cross pieces are just short enough for the width of the other cross piece on an adjoining side and the uh, one by six. So they're just basically butt joints on the corners. But that's okay, this is just a construction project. So it's not for pretty. My screws were just a tad long, but it's uh, what I grabbed when I was at the lumber yard, so I wasn't going to go back for shorter screws, and I wasn't sure, I'm not sure they actually had shorter screws. The shelf was fairly empty at that point. Now for the narrow piece. And the long piece.
and I'll do three more of these. Now just assemble the sides and put them all together. And I'll do this three more times. So here the water tower is pretty much done. Here I'm cutting uh, a couple of cross braces that the bus bucket will rest on inside the tower and the braces will rest on the inside of um, the cross pieces. So. I didn't have enough uh, wood to make a lid and I ended up going to the lumber yard and getting another piece. Here's the bucket. Basically, what you can see there is a five gallon bucket with a, uh, a kit I got online. It's basically a brass uh, nipple that goes on the bottom portion of the bucket, a piece of vinyl tubing, and then a brass screw and a couple of wing nuts as a clamp on the hose to uh, regulate the water coming out of the hose. It, it works okay, but it seems to require a lot of fiddling to get the drip rate just right. And with the wood being so wet, I had to go back and clean the saw blade. And you can see in the picture, there's what the lid looks like. So that's that project. It didn't take um, terribly long. I was wanting to use cedar, but uh, Lowe's was totally out of cedar and with lumber being the way it is right now. That's it for today. Uh, like, subscribe, leave any comments, ask any questions, and we will catch you in the next video.